This is Samira. She's seven. Her favorite color is sunny yellow. This is Samira's family. She loves her family very much. Things have been unsettled in Samira's town, but her parents explain what she has to do if things ever turn bad. This makes her feel safer. One day though, Samira's world turned upside down. She couldn't find her family. She was very scared and confused. But she knew who to ask for help. The child protection worker took lots of notes and reassured her and made sure that she was safe. Together, they went to a place where help was available and Samira recognized other people that she knew. A kind nurse asked if she was feeling okay and gave her some lunch. Meanwhile, someone else got to work finding her mother and father and they were soon reunited. So, now Samira's town has changed and there are dangers. When Samira's brother lost his ball, he wanted to go and get it back. But Samira remembered how dangerous it was to go near ruined buildings. It was actually Samira's new school teacher who explained the risks. Samira had stayed on at school, even though it was a bit different from before. It was just a tent now, but it had a friendly supervisor and a safe place to play. Things could have been very different. Samira nearly didn't go back to school. Her father had been injured and her mother just couldn't make ends meet. It looked like Samira would have to go to work. The man in the cafe said she would also have to sleep there. He said he would take care of her or that he could arrange for her to work for his associates. Luckily, just at the right moment, Samira's mother got the extra help and information that she needed so Samira could stay with her family. Sometimes Samira's mother feels overwhelmed, but she has had someone to talk to, and that has helped her deal with the stress of the situation. She's also learned some ways to make sure that despite all the changes, her children still feel loved and cared for, that they can carry on growing and learning as all children should. So, on balance, Samira's doing okay. Her community is getting itself back onto its feet and the people around her protect her. She protects herself and she protects others. Child protection in emergencies means ensuring that violence, exploitation and abuse don't happen. When they do, it means taking action, undoing the harm that has been done and getting children back to safety and a loving family as quickly as possible where they can grow and learn. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of people and a lot of time. But every day all around the world, Child protection in emergencies saves lives.